Well, good morning, everyone. Rob Bonta here, California Attorney General. Thank you for joining us. Let me begin by thanking the team within the California Department of Justice's Civil Rights Enforcement Section and others at the department who contribute to this important work. Altogether, we have a team of skilled attorneys, special agents, and legal support staff who work day in and day out to vigorously enforce our state and our federal civil rights laws. For those of us in law enforcement, we have a duty to ensure our laws are properly enforced and followed, including by our own agencies here in California. It's paramount. Public safety is built on trust. When communities feel they are treated fairly and equitably by law enforcement, it increases trust. That trust in turn contributes to increased public safety. Trust generates safety and safety generates trust. However, we are here today because there is a deficit of trust in Santa Clara County. There are deeply concerning allegations around potentially pervasive misconduct within the Sheriff's Office. That is why today I am launching a civil rights investigation into the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office. Our investigation will seek to determine whether the Sheriff's Office has engaged in a pattern or practice of unconstitutional or unlawful conduct. Investigation, this investigation comes amidst deeply concerning allegations relating to conditions of confinement in the office's jail facilities, resistance to lawful oversight, and other misconduct. These concerns have been repeatedly voiced by elected leaders, media publications, community members, community organizations, and more. It is time that truth comes to light, and we will use our authority under the California Constitution to determine whether the Sheriff's Office has engaged in a pattern or a practice of violating state and or federal law. And if so, identify and compel the correction of any systemic violations of the community's constitutional and civil rights. We are launching this investigation today, and as such, at this time, we have made no determinations about specific complaints or allegations. But in the days and months ahead, I promise you our investigation will be thorough. It will be impartial. It will work to ensure that the civil rights of the people of Santa Clara County are respected. As part of our pattern or practice investigation, I encourage anyone with relevant information to please contact our civil rights enforcement section. You can contact us by emailing police police-practices at doj.ca.gov. In addition to English, members of the public may send information in Spanish as well as other languages. So please reach out to us if you feel you have relevant information. During the course of our investigation, we will work diligently to consider all relevant information, including from community members and organizations, local officials, oversight entities, the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office, individual officers, and others. I'm committed to this work, to ensuring our civil rights are protected, to strengthening trust between law enforcement and community. It's a critical component of my broader effort to increase public safety for all Californians. Ensuring public trust and keeping our communities and officers safe is not mutually exclusive. It's interdependent. And all of us must stay on task in our shared mission to ensure public safety and equal protection for every family. Coast to mountains, border to border, from Santa Clara, Santa Ana, from Calexico to Crescent City. We'll keep leading this effort at the Department of Justice, including through this pattern or practice investigation. Thank you, and I'd now be happy to take any questions you may have.